So this is the easiest way to do this project with these Grove sensors, plug and play, no soldering involved. Now let's start at the top. First connection is the character select potentiometer. That goes there. Then you've got the weather button. Uh, here I have a touch sensor, but that could also be a button as well. Then number three, we have a button. This is for the stock. So the button, this could also have gone in the second one too. This could also be a touch sensor. That's totally up to you. And then number four, we have the proximity sensor. So this is a sharp IR sensor. And then in the last one, we have just an indicator LED right there. So let's go ahead and do a quick demo here. So you see, um, right now I have this in verbose mode. So it's kind of nice because you can see the status of all of the sensors so you know that you've got everything hooked up right. So for example, the character select pot, if I go ahead and turn this guy, you'll see that change. And as that changes, so does my character. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, the proximity sensor is over here. So as I put my hand in front of that, you can see that's gonna change. Let's just do that one more time. Aye, matey, a little pirate you are. You'll be so brave, so hearty. Okay, so that was the uh, proximity sensor. Here's the touch sensor. This is for the weather I have hooked up. Aye, matey, the seas be getting a wee bumpy. Let's go ahead and change the uh, character back. Oops. There we go. And then this is your stocks. So grand is your fame, today your treasure remains the same. And so again, so see watch where it says stock. See they hit true. So grand is As your I'm hitting fame, that button, today your treasure remains I can see it change. That's how I know that I have the button hooked up correctly. And then the indicator LED right now, that one just will flash once the proximity sensor, see it flash right there? Thy grace Once I'm in range of the proximity sensor, My princess, that will flash. More beautiful than thee. So, uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So now that um, you've got all your sensors hooked up, then what you want to do is go here, go to the settings, and then you can see I've got various things here. Uh, you can do custom videos, that's in the tutorial. This is where you tell it what sensors you have hooked up. Um, now, I'm using these Grove switches, which have a pull-up resistor um, already soldered in, but if you were doing your own wiring and you didn't want to take the extra time to add in the pull-up resistor, you could actually just go here and click that, and then you could just hook up any momentary switch without the pull-up, so that's kind of nice. Save you some time there. Uh, don't forget to put in your weather API key. There's instructions on how to get that uh, in the tutorial. And let's see what else do we have here. Uh, this is for configuring the um, trigger point on the proximity sensor. So for example, in this case, if the range is between 200 and 300, and you can see that again in the verbose setting. So see right now I'm, I'm at 700. If I go between 200 and 300, Then the proximity search is going to I see from this wall. Behold, you are the fairest of them all. Okay, so let's go back there. And I think that was most of the settings. Let's see if I missed anything. Oh yeah, so you can also override the pins. So if you're doing a custom installation and say you didn't want to use pin 34, you could type in your own pin. So that's also kind of nice for the customizers out there that want to use a different pin or um, hook up some additional sensors. So once you're all done and everything is good, then you just hit verbose, turn that off, and then now we're going to get into our normal, normal mode. So now you've got your full-on magic mirror. And again, let's trigger a couple things. 
So grand is your fame, today your treasure remains the same. Okay, let's do the proximity sensor again. Thy grace shines from land to sea. My princess, none is more beautiful than thee. And this one is where I can uh, change the character. <gasps> and change it back. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, like I said, so that's the easiest way to do this project is use these plug and play Grove connectors. And just note that when this is running, the app will keep the screen on. So you don't have to worry about your phone going into sleep mode. It will always stay on when the app is running. And then since we're talking over Bluetooth, you of course have your um, charging port connection free. So to keep this as a hands-free thing, just plug that into a charger and then you don't have to worry about your battery running out and you can just keep it running for good. So this switch right here will just cut power. That's the on-off switch. That'll cut power to the circuit. I'm going to turn it back on. Connected. And you can see it automatically reconnected over Bluetooth once it says that it was back on.